understand how any of this could have happened. Once Christina received the shocking diagnosis in the summer of 2021, production was immediately shut down for five months so she could begin treatment. New York Times writer Alexis Soloski explains. Christina really wanted to resume. She cares very deeply about the story. She cares very deeply about her colleagues. And she wanted to give this show the send off that she felt that it deserved. It's too late. No, it's not too late. There is always a way out. Christina tells the New York Times, this is the first time anyone's gonna see me the way I am. I put on 40 pounds. I can't walk without a cane. I want people to know that I'm very aware of all of that. Christina recently tweeted this photo showing canes, captioned, walking sticks are now part of my new normal. <laughs> Christina, whose last red carpet appearance was pre-pandemic at the 2020 SAG Awards, faced some new difficulties returning to the dead to me set. There were real limitations uh, every day when she had to walk down the stairs of her trailer. That was often a struggle. There was a wheelchair to take her to set. She couldn't just work and work and work and work for hours. Shoot days can be extremely long. Eventually, I believe she had to get a note from her doctor that says she cannot work more than 12 hours at a stretch. The other issue for her at that point was balance. She did not feel as steady on her feet as she had. So there were scenes where the blocking was changed so that she could lean against something like a door or a counter. And at times when she needed to be freestanding, she has a longtime friend, a sound technician, who would often be on the floor holding up her legs so that she could feel steady. Christina had to rely on on her fellow cast and crew to complete filming, including co-star and close friend Linda Cardellini, who, quote, stepped in like a mama bear. According to Christina, Linda would step in and say, hey, she needs a break. Or, hey, that's, we have enough. That's enough takes. I think you've got this. Let's, let's pause for a while. Your mom was My mom was breast and ovarian cancer survivor. Um, also, my cousin, yeah. unfortunately, just passed away from ovarian cancer this past mm -hmm. year. Um, so we have it strongly in our family. With a family history of cancer, the MS is just Christina's latest health challenge. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in March of 2008, becoming an advocate for early screenings with mammograms and MRIs. An MRI can go catch it years before a mammogram can. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with me. Christina had a double mastectomy, followed by months of reconstructive surgery. I had pretty good ones before, so they were kind of good. Right, and you're like... Sad, but, um, these ones don't move. I'm like an enigma in my, in my <laughs> running class. Everybody else is like doing this.